have an issue where this throttle body sticking like it won't close all the way well it closed but then it sticks but it doesn't close all the way to where it freaking doesn't have the car idle high don't worry about this stuff I'm gonna fix it I just had to get the car started so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pop this off and I'm gonna file it down just a bit and I'll show you guys where to file so your K-Tune throttle body doesn't stick alright so my issue is see it is stuck sometimes and then if you can see down in that corner right there you see the little uh, black spot so it might just look like dirt but what it is there's dirt in there but what it is is this corner of the lip this corner right here is a little bit too big and it's rubbing against the side of the housing over there so it doesn't close all the way causes the car to idle high a little bit and then when I do use my hand and close this all the way it's also sticking I don't know if that makes sense it makes sense to me because I fixed it before on a different car but if I let go of the pedal and let it slam it also sticks trying to right now you can see it's That was fine, but what? Let it slam. Harder to turn. See that? So it sticks a little bit. So I'm going to try to fix that right now. And hopefully I don't fuck this up. Alright, so what I did was file down the edges just a bit. And then I used some sandpaper to smooth it out. Blurry. I file down the edges just a bit and use some sandpaper to smooth it out. You don't file it down much you just see where it's sticking and you uh you file it from there i filed it just enough that i could get it to close all the way and then what i did was it was still sticking i adjusted this little knob right here to right like where it's sticking you just adjust it to right at the spot that it's not sticking so it still closes all the way so I'm gonna test this right now and see if that worked I also routed those I also routed those wires a bit neater under here a little bit cleaner those ones gotta be plugged in so it's no big deal uh, mounted that back to the firewall so we'll see how this goes all right, we got all this back together. Um, all the everything's connected. Oh no, nope, don't want a vacuum leak. I'm gonna put this in. Oh. This gotta go on the inside. Yeah. So got all that together. Now let's see. If the car start, it's not dead. So something's up with my dash. I don't know. I gotta turn the car on to get it to read. So I turn the car on. Uh, it does that. Normally when I turn it back off, I start it now. idling better but let's see what happens when the dash comes up and sometimes I gotta like start the car to turn it off like it's been tripping the K-Pro for some reason like it doesn't want to read it I don't know well we'll see if it See, like now it doesn't read, but if I do this, turn it off, turn it back on. Now we're good. Oh, shit. 
good. But it's still not good. And now, like, it doesn't pick up anything. Like, it's like in the limp mode, watch. So, once I get it to read, hold on. It, like, puts it in a limp mode. And it doesn't want to read the dash for some freaking reason. I don't know if the dash is trying to send a signal back. Well, yeah, I don't know if the dash is trying to send a signal back to the K-Pro, which that'll be stupid because it should only be reading. anymore and the car is idling good so if you're having that issue with your throttle body then that's where or if you're having this issue where your car is like fluctuating idle it was like up between like 1900 and like 18 to 1900 sometimes 2000 and it's just idling high like that's the issue if you have one of those k2 throttle body like now the car just idles smooth like this dash is really really nice I just hate that I have to like start my car and turn the car back off start it again to get it to work for some reason and now my anti lag works air fuel hooked up on here so don't think that's my air fuel it's over here I do have to wire this into here and then I don't know I already have this here so I'm gonna leave it but I'm gonna wire everything right here so that way it's all just one spot but I'm getting it to work like this is the first time I ever messed with this dash so it's all trial and error for me like I had a grounded issue with it where I would ground the car, where I grounded it, and it would trip my ECU, so I just had to disconnect the ground, and then it was powering up just fine, so I don't know what the holy hell is going on. 